It has been a quiet day here in Southern Colorado. Hopefully you enjoyed it because big changes are moving in. Here's a look from Woodland Park, our neighborhood weather network camera at the Greater Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. No problems along Highway 24 today. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 20s and 30s along and east of I-25 with teens and 20s off to the west of the interstate. High temperatures tomorrow? Looking pretty nice. We're back in the 50s and 60s, but don't let the numbers on the screen fool you. We'll be warm during the first half of the day, but during the second half of the day, a cold front is going to slide through, which means we will see dropping temperatures through the afternoon into the evening. So even though you may not need a jacket in the morning, you'll be happy to have one with you during the afternoon. So make sure to grab it on your way out the door tomorrow morning. As you are heading out the door tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock, we are expecting a mixture of clouds and sun. The clouds will stick around the plains as we head into about lunchtime, but then as we take you into the late afternoon and evening, clouds will thicken up all across the state. By 9 o'clock, our cold front front should continue sliding across southern Colorado. Behind the front, we're likely going to see not only snow up across the high country, but the potential for some freezing drizzle around Denver. If you will be heading to Denver late tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night, may encounter a few slippery spots. We'll keep very spotty showers around through 6 a.m. on Thursday. As we take you into your Thanksgiving Day morning, we will have a few patchy areas of freezing drizzle and even some light snow. As we take you into your Thursday afternoon, we'll start to see more and more of these types of showers. I anticipate that road conditions are going to deteriorate as we take you into your Thursday afternoon and your Thursday evening. So you may be able to get to your Thanksgiving Day destinations just fine, but as we head into the later hours of the day, just keep in mind, you're probably going to need some more time and you may encounter some very slippery spots. So our front arrives late tomorrow. We'll have spotty showers tomorrow night, but the majority of the snow that we'll get with this system is actually going to fall Thursday night into Friday morning. As far as how much you'll end up with, snow totals don't look to be quite as impressive as the last system that moved through. Two to six inches will be possible along the Palmer Divide and across portions of the I-25 corridor. One to four inches of snow across the plains north of Highway 50. Two to six inches, though, possible south of Highway 50. Five to ten across our local mountains. Again, most of this falling Thursday night into Friday morning. My biggest concern with travel will be the potential for rain first. That will then transition into snow, creating ice and also freezing drizzle, particularly for the southeastern corner of the state. That could cause for some treacherous travel, so just expect that you will need extra time on your Thursday. 54 tomorrow, 28 degrees. So the other big story for your Thanksgiving is going to be just how cold it will be and very cold for Black Friday also. 33 on Saturday, 40 expected Sunday with 30s expected Monday and Tuesday. In Pueblo tomorrow, mild to start, 62, but dropping temperatures during the late afternoon and evening. 20s are expected Thursday into Friday with a 30% chance for a rain snow mix and then snow on Friday with minor accumulations possible around Pueblo. We'll see drier conditions this weekend carrying into early next week. Canyon in city 59 tomorrow and then 30 degrees is all we get to on Thursday with Friday bringing slightly cooler temperatures will begin to moderate the temperature a bit Saturday into Sunday Sunday high temperature back in the upper 40s for Teller County 47 tomorrow could see a few spotty showers late tomorrow but the best chance again for accumulating snow will be Thursday night and into Friday morning this system is going to be a longer duration system so the snow should be rather light and so it's not going to bring that wave of heavy snow like we saw with the past system so a big difference there, but that doesn't mean that travel is going to be any easier. So if you are making the trek to wherever you're going for Thanksgiving, just know that you will want to leave early. Give yourself plenty of extra time, and you'll definitely need your patience. Some more of the type of snow that we see in the fall and winter here, that light, fluffy kind of Not snow. Exactly, especially once those really cold temperatures.